Don't come out too much. Okay, brilliant. You squeeze me quite hard. Woo! Woo! Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlies prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, and she's ready to give a frightening facial to Johannes Redebe. This South African dazzler is a professional dancer on the BBC's Strictly Come Dancing here in the UK. Johannes also reached the final twice in Dancing with the Stars South Africa. His favourite dances are the Samba and the Paso Doble. Johannes is from near South Africa's largest city, Johannesburg. But now he's with us right here in Johannesburg. Meet these members of the Coromus Vitatus Vitatus, or as we know them, Coco, Coral, Cordelia, Courtney and Corrine. There are approximately 10,000 described species of millipedes in the world. But this sassy squad comes all the way from Nigeria. Let's see if dancer Johannes can teach these leggy ladies how to bop on his chops. Johannes, congratulations on making it here to the Bug Snug. Uh, thank you for having me, Yusuf. I am very happy to be here. That wasn't very convincing. Are there any bugs in particular that you really don't want to have on your face? Yusuf, I don't want anything on my face. I always say, give me a lion, give me an elephant, give me anything, but just don't give me anything that crawls. Yeah, I mean, I don't think a lion or an elephant is going to be able to fit in this box, so <laughs> probably going to be something that crawls. Johannes, we haven't got a solo performer for you today. We've got a whole chorus line. Are you ready to meet Coco, Cordelia, Courtney, Coral, and Corrine? Oh. I just went numb. So these are polydesmid flat millipedes, also known as Coromus vitatus vitatus, and they come from Nigeria in Western Africa. And they're safe. I mean, it's funny you should say that because there are a few safety precautions we have to tell you about. First of all, we don't think that their mouth parts can break your skin, but they might poo on your face. Wow, you should please make sure that doesn't happen. I will try my best. And there is one final warning. In extreme cases, these millipedes can tickle you to death. We're all rooting for you, Johannes. We know that you're gonna do amazingly, but we do have to get you to sign this form, the pen here, just to make sure you know if these guys crawl up your nose and lay eggs in your brain, you're okay with that. <laughs> so. I can't believe that I'm doing this. A disclaimer. That's it, yeah, just sign there. It's time to put the bugs on your mug and let nature take its course. Are you ready? No, no Yusuf, I'm not. You're gonna have to be, because it's time. So there's gonna be some facts on the screen above you about Coco and Courtney. Once you've made it through all of them, we can take Coco and Courtney off your face and you get to win your very own legendary, most sought after BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Are you ready for this? Wait, 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 wait. let me just close my okay. eyes. Let me know when you're ready. Now. It is time for us to infest your face. Don't come out of my time. Okay, that's the first one on. That's it. Okay, brilliant. But it's not in your, you're squeezing it quite hard. <laughs> come on. You've got to open your eyes and read the first fact. You've got 10 of these to get through. It's tickling me, it's tickling me, it's tickling me. It's tickling me. It's tickling me. It's tickling me on my cheek. Okay, it's all right. Sure. Give us the first fact, please, Johannes. Coco and Courtney are members of the polydesmid millipede group and is a Coromus vitatus vitatus from Nigeria. That's it, well done, very close. It's Coromus vitatus vitatus. <laughs> Say when you've got these on your face. You, you okay? Breaking my finger a little bit there. Oh. I said keep your left eye closed now because you're just crawling on top of it. Mm. And now she's gone on your nose. So you can open your left eye and read us the next fact. Polydesmids are also known as the flat backed millipedes because of their flattened appearance. Uh, and did anybody mention that they can make you crawl out of your skin as well? Do you want to vote one of them off? Yeah, please, this one. Oh, what's her name? Coco. Take Coco, Take Coco off. Take Coco off. Okay, Take yeah. Coco off. Take Coco off. Coco. Coco's gone, don't oh. worry. You've just got Courtney on there. Let's get through these facts. Courtney, behave. Please, baby, behave. Come on, take it away with the third fact, please, Johannes. The poly... How do you say this word? Polydesmid. Oh, po polydesmid. polydesmid are the largest group of millipedes. There's a third one, go to the fourth one quickly before <laughs> she comes down. Coco Crow, Cordelia, Courtney and Corinne can be found on the forest floor, under rocks and woodland debris. They sound like some of the judges have worked with. <laughs> <laughs> That's naughty! That's naughty! 
Okay, take us away with the next fact, please. Certain polydesmic millipedes can produce a toxic chemical compound of hydrogen to repel and herd predators if threatened. Ah, uh, that's not my millipede, is it? Sorry, sorry, it's just going across your nose, but you, you can keep your eyes open. So that's hydrogen cyanide. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that, that, that. Keep going, Johannes. Don't forget that legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug could be all yours if you just complete the next few facts. Mother millipedes burrow into the soil and dig nests where they lay their eggs. In many cases, the mother uses her own feces. That's poo to build a capsule for her children. That's Next fact, please. If you think the millipedes is big and a distant relative of Courtney grew up to six feet long, that's taller than a human. Next fact, please. Polydesmid millipedes have 20 body segments on average with two pairs of legs per segment. Can you feel all of those legs on your face? No, I can, I can <laughs> use something again. You've done really, really well, Johannes. You'll be pleased to hear we can now remove the bug. Thank you very much. Quickly. <laughs> there you go, he's gone. How was that experience for you? Oh, wild. Very wild. Won't do that again. No. <laughs> you looked like you were a bit terrified. <laughs> I was, Yusuf, I was. You squeezed my hand so hard. It's Courtney. Courtney has no manners. Ah, Courtney's biting me. You see what ah. I mean? What was the worst part about that experience for you? It's them creepy crawlies just on my face. I think that was terrible. What did the sensation feel like? <sighs> just a lot of things, making things, making... Not a very pleasant no, experience. No, no, very pleasant. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. They're cute, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are, they are very cute. What was the most surprising thing about them for you? I have to say... They just look very scary, but actually they're not. They're beautiful little things. Yeah, you want to hold again? Yeah, I like Coco. Not Courtney. Courtney, you don't, you don't like Courtney. Courtney's an introvert and she's not happy about life. <laughs> Whereas Coco, she's a lovely girl. See? So would you like Coco as a pet? How would Courtney feel? Uh, she might feel a bit betrayed. A bit betrayed, but Courtney, you're going to have to stay with your brothers and sisters. You can take them all if you want. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. <laughs> there we go. So you are, of course, a dancer. Yes. What dance would you teach all of these millipedes? You know what I would say? Viennese waltz. Okay, why is that? Because it would be fun watching them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're so slow. So you don't think they'll be any good? No, I don't think they'll be good at all. Coco and Courtney, congratulations on making it through Bugface and thank you for exploring Johannes's mush. And Johannes, you did awesome, which means one thing, you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug face mug. Wait, yeah. are they in there? No, no, there's empty. nothing. It's empty. Okay, I'll accept that. Lucky you. Don't forget you can see all of our bug faces plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next bug face. Come back soon!